Yes, welcome to uh, SICAP, um, 31st of May. Um, we have, uh, as always, an action-packed uh, event for you. Uh, welcome to uh, people who are joining us from all over the world. If you're joining us from the United States today on Memorial Day, uh, we wish you a peaceful uh, Memorial Day. Um, looking like this is actually going to be our, our busiest one uh, so far. Well over a thousand people uh, signed up for SICAP. And I think that's a, a reflection of just how much more interest is starting to come into uh, the psychedelic medicine uh, market. Um, on today's programming, um, we will be uh, diving into two important topics. Uh, we like to pick things which are of the moment. Um, of course, a couple of months ago, uh, we led the conversation um, around ethical intellectual property, and it's been great to see so many breakout conversations taking place on many different platforms. Uh, around what we can do as an industry to, to do better. Um, uh, the two topics that we're going to be talking around today uh, as part of our panel discussions are going to be on financial PR, um, how you communicate to the industry and how you communicate to the broader market. Um, so we have people from both sides of the table. Uh, we have the people who promote the stories and we also have people who publish the stories. Uh, and Henri St. Cassia from the Conscious Fund uh, will be leading the conversation um, on that particular panel. Uh, I'll be coming back a little bit later on um, to talk about diversity in the boardroom. How are we doing as an industry around building out diverse and inclusive boards? Some people would say, appalling some people say not too bad um we're going to talk to entrepreneurs and investors um around how we go about building out true equality in the psychedelic medicine space uh so those are the two panels uh patrick who is presenting today today we have four sponsor presentations uh, a nice diversity um in the company profile as well uh, we've got Psyched Wellness kicking things off at 145, followed by Circadian Wellness Corp. Um, so those are both mushroom-focused companies. Uh, Psyched is going to tell you about Amanita Mascara, and Circadian will tell you about functional mushroom mushrooms and their plans for the future. Uh, and then we're joined by two more companies, Next Stage Therapeutics out of Israel, a uh, more biotech-focused company, and Aphrodite Health, who is a female product-focused company, making their debut uh, on SciCap, and that's actually a TCF incubated company, isn't it, Richard? It is indeed, yes. Uh, super excited uh, to share the, the mission and values of Aphrodite Health and introduce you uh, to the team who are, are running that venture. Uh, and it, of course, is uh, the first female-founded female focused psychedelic medicine company. Um, uh, so yeah, they will be uh, closing things off today here at uh, Psychedelic Capital. Um, before we move on to those things, I believe we have some very important breaking news that we're gonna be able to share at today's Psychedelic Capital. I'm gonna just give you a as a drum roll, by the Digital way. Digital drum roll. Yes. Um, Patrick. An excellent, excellent drum player, uh, Richard, man of many talents. Uh, yeah, we are very excited to uh, announce uh, formally and finally that we will be having our Wonderland in-person conferences coming up this fall. Uh, we have locked 99% er, there on locking in a venue. Uh, in Miami, we're looking at early November, uh, going to release dates with the official release shortly, but we're uh, really excited to sort of bring our virtual and digital programming into the real world with Absolutely. a- IRL. IRL. IRL event in real life, yep. Um, of course, we were the pioneers of all things virtual, uh, and I believe we're gonna be the pioneers of all things IRL as well. Um, so yeah, it is an incredible venue um, that we have, uh, nearly secured, we're very, very close. Um, and hopefully at the very early part of next week, we're gonna be able to announce the dates. We do know it's gonna be November, and we do know it's gonna be Miami, and the venue is absolutely spectacular. So it's gonna be so wonderful 
to bring all of you people together for what I think will be for a lot of people the very first time they've actually got to meet in real life. There's obviously a lot of work that we've got to do behind the scenes. Um, we are, um, of course, acutely aware of our obligations with regards to safety and keeping everybody very safe um, at the event. So. It means even more preparation um, needs to go on it. But we've had a team of people working on this now for quite some time. And uh, yeah, we're feeling very, very confident that uh, next week we're going to be able to tell you all about Wonderland in Miami in November this year, which is amazing. Yes, indeed. Um, and congratulations to America for uh, getting COVID under control quite nicely. Um, Originally, we were intending on doing uh, Toronto, San Francisco, but you know, with the way the world works, sometimes you don't have that much control. So Miami takes the cake. It's very hot in the tech scene right now, and hopefully we can uh, get them feeling nice and psychedelic in due time. Yeah, I mean, actually, there are things um, being proposed in Florida at the moment um, for the statue book. So uh, whilst it's not, obviously not as far ahead as, as Oregon, uh, there are measures in place to to uh, to work towards decriminalizing uh, psychedelics in uh, in Florida. So, uh, yes, yeah, certainly a really, really interesting location. And it's become a, a real sort of hub of, of innovation and a melting pot of uh, very interesting people. So uh, Miami is our first, um, but as we touched on when we first announced Wonderland, we are intending this to be a global format. Um, so we will be looking at other locations around the world over the next couple of years, uh, building out a, an incredible live event experience, less of a conference, more of a concert, I guess. Right, I think that's near the end. Yeah, we've got a few more minutes left. What what's sort of uh, what what's sort of hot and happening? What companies are you you excited by at the moment, Patrick? Uh, I'm excited by Microdose, but that's nothing new. <laughs> um, Absolutely, and we've got well, we've got some we've got some even more exciting news to share on Microdose, but we decided we're not going to share that tonight because uh, we have to do like a formal press release about that. Um, yes. and that should be very very soon. Um, uh, some incredible partners we're going to be able to uh, name drop on that press release. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. And my uh, blood pressure levels have dropped significantly since securing that news. So yeah, you, uh, said you, a, yeah. you said you're going to take a month off or something. You want to go live on top of a mountain for a month? Uh, not a month. I think a, a week. <laughs> I'm going to go explore the rest of Guatemala while I have some time. Um, so that'll be nice, but, you know, as an entrepreneur, I can't stop working generally, so I'll be plugged in. Um, but yeah, there was some exciting news. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Texas, I believe this uh, this month, the the legislature is working on some psychedelic uh, permissions for for studies there, which is unexpected to say the least. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible to watch in in the United States at the moment. The uh, in particular, the mainstream media conversation when we think back to you know, this time last year, it was a rarity that the mainstream media were talking about psychedelics. And now it feels like it's almost a daily occurrence. I mean, for people who look at the media on a, on a global basis, you've got, you know, heavyweight titles such as the New York Times rightfully putting maps at the forefront of what they were doing. Um, you've got cutting edge titles such as Vice, featuring microdose of, of all of the things. Um, but you've also got sort of very, um, uh, you know, sort of youth culture titles. I mean, um, Lad's Bible, which is uh, you know, sort of a lad's Bible, um, which uh, if you don't know what a lad is in your American, it's a bit like a jock, um, <laughs> the sort of jock's Bible. Um, but, you know, talking about, um, of all companies, Wasana Health and of course, Mike Tyson um, joining team Wasana. Um, so yeah, it feels very much like not a single day goes by where we where we don't see um, something dropping into the mainstream media, which is incredible to see. Very true, um, and a lot. Uh, it, one one thing that I have noticed is you know between my early days in cannabis and the early days in psychedelics, um, you know back in the cannabis days there was a lot of an almost animosity, I guess you could say, in the media. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it happening? Is it not? Yeah. You know, kind of up, down, hot, cold, but overwhelmingly uh, positive 
media coverage. I would say so. I mean, it's almost like 99% positive. And, uh, you know, wherever there is a a word of caution, I think it's caution, which is, um, you know, uh, correctly applied. And it will it will talk about the importance of, you know, very controlled settings and supervised, uh, supervised access, but no suggestion that these are these are harmful things and things that you shouldn't be looking at. Um, so I think, yeah, on, on the whole, um, regardless of the media outlet, it's been very, very encouraging to see um, that level of support from media. Absolutely. And uh, speaking of media and the upcoming panel, we're happy to welcome the Investing News Network on as a media partner of Microdose now. Uh, so fantastic! pretty excited about that. Uh, we'll have Brian McGovern speaking on the financial media panel. He's a journalist that's been uh, covering the industry quite extensively. Um, and uh, we've got a uh, shout out to Truffle Report, who's always in the audience and always doing a uh, nice little summary for us. They do amazing summaries, actually. Um, sometimes, you know, if it's all been a blist, you know, distant blur while everything's happening, it's a really great summary just to read, um, you know, what's been happening at the event. Yeah, so uh, big love to uh, the Truffle Report. Amazing summaries, you do. Absolutely. And uh, one more, I guess, forward looking. Uh, announcement is uh, we have the MDMA conference coming up. Uh, that'll be June 15th, and we will be joined uh, by the one and only Rick Doblin. Uh, excited to have him speaking, I, th I think, for like an hour and a half. So we're going to get wow. a big old uh, Molly download from Mr. Rick himself. So very excited about that. Um, and Christina, I believe, just shared the link in the chat. Uh, it might be the wrong one because I see Airme PC. Just adds up, Christina. Much love. Um, anything else from your end, Richard? Before we uh, move no, forward. No, I mean it's 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 uh, say an incredible moment in time. Um, portfolio companies, you know, we've um, we have the the acquisition of Magic Med um, very recently. Wasana going public. Uh, and we have six transactions we're going to be announcing uh, starting this week. So, uh, and we're going to be doing them over the next sort of couple of weeks. So we backed a lot of stuff up. So really for the next three weeks, it's going to be sort of two deals a week. Um, and a really, really encouraging, you know, high quality batch of companies we've we've managed to uh, invest into. So yeah, really excited to share those over the, uh, over the forthcoming uh, weeks. Beautiful. And uh, I'm being informed that that is the correct link. So everybody grab your uh, tickets to the MDMA Molecular Masterclass. Uh, with that being said, we're going to uh, head over to our first sponsor presentation with Psyched Wellness. Thanks so much, Richard. Thank you.